and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. We haven't filmed for a while, Brad. I feel a little bit out of sync yeah, here. a couple weeks here. All right, top three treatments for degenerative disc disease. Uh, we're going to show the exercises first, and then we'll explain why we do them. Let's get to it. Degenerative disc disease, the discs are shrinking typically at this rate. That's right. Okay. They've shrunk down. All right. All right, the first one is we're getting, this is a great one to do in the morning right when you wake up. Sure. Just go ahead and put your knees up like this, and mm -hmm. you're going to start rotating your legs back and forth. All right. Knees will be touching gently. Feet will be touching gently. Shoulders stay flat on the bed, and you and just... So, and sometimes you want to start off with just small oscillations, yeah. depending on your back. It was feeling so good, I wanted to go oh. farther, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, then you can push it to the point where you can actually give a little stretch, maybe, even on the end. See, for me, this way feels good. When I get over to here, eh, it's a, not that And then fun. you shouldn't do that direction. Right, we're just going to work in the yeah. pain-free range. Right, stay on the pain-free side. Uh, eventually, maybe you can work more into the pain. Sure, you bet. And uh, you can do this for five minutes if you want. Sure. And you can do it more than once a day if yep. you want. All right, next one. That was one. Number okay. two, just a single knee to chest. Yep. Pressure on, pressure off. You can go ahead and do that ten times on each leg if you'd yep. like. So I'm going to abbreviate it a little bit, Bob, we'll just do two or yeah, three. Yeah, now you may feel like you're just stretching the hip, but you are actually pulling up on the back, too, and, and gapping the, the back. So. Right. All right, the last one, knees to chest, both knees to chest. Here. Now, you might want to pull one up and then pull the other one up if, if that's too hard on you to right. pull both up. Right, so here, and uh, use your legs to help. It's going to be the same thing, pressure on, pressure, I'm sorry, but both up, Brad. Pressure on, pressure off, pressure on. <laughs> pressure off. I was just thinking, you know, some of my patients have a hard time getting their knees up. You can take a, a towel or a belt and go underneath your knees. Sure. So you can pull if you got short arms sure. to help that out. Okay. Excellent. Okay, why don't you sit up, Brad, and we'll um, discuss I, real quick. I'm pretty comfortable here, Bob. All right, I can help you out here, oh. old, old man. All right, what's happening with degenerative disc disease is you got your two, you got your vertebrae, the bones of the back and you have the disc that is in between it, so something like that. Now, on a normal disc, it's going to be a little thicker. Mm -hmm. It's going to provide plenty of space between the, you know, the, the bones, but on a degenerative disc, it's actually going to start flattening right. out and So the green thing represent, represents the disc, the vertebra, vertebra here. And why is that a problem, Brad, when that disc starts to lose height? Well, what happens is the, the facet joints that you have, there's two of them between each vertebrae, they start to get pushed together, and the mechanics of them is not as uh, smooth as it once be, causing pain and arthritis and other problems as long as you get a pinched nerve, possibly. Lose exactly. the range of motion. There's more stress on the back joints right. because the disc is not providing the sh shock absorption sure. that it should. And so, yeah, it, it begins to wear out like arthritis, with, you know, develop probably increased likelihood of arthritis. Sure. And um, by doing these exercises, you're, you're gapping the joints, you're opening the joints up, right. and you're also getting more nutrition and blood flow into them, mm -hmm. moving toxins, all those good things. Should we show them up close? Sure. Lonnie, can, you have to tell me if you can see what we're doing here. I want a little close-up. Right here, can... Can you see that, where the pin is pointing? That's one of the joints. Right there now, when we do, I'm gonna exaggerate this, but Bob, can you pull that yep. apart? So when we do this flexion, see how there's a gap in that joint right now? And that's what we're doing. It may not go this far, but that, the uh, idea yeah. is there. Opening the gap, closing the gap. Opening the gap, closing the gap. Right, so when that disc is uh, degenerative, that, that, that joint just gets pushed together too hard for too long and we need to get some motion in the there. The other problem is uh, as those joints come together, this hole where the nerve comes out, right there. that can get smaller and get pressure on the nerve. So we're actually trying to gap that joint too and make yep. a little, the hole a little bigger. Exactly. It won't stay bigger, but it'll it take loosen some it up. Yep. Yep. Loosen Sometimes it, up, so. it doesn't take much. So, All right, that's the, the plan for DDD, degenerative disc disease. Ooh, that's and, a, uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because we're going to prevent, uh, prevent you from having pain, right? We're going to prevent you from having something. <laughs> All, All right. right. Thanks Take for care. Watching.